You are using one yard. Can you use one point two yard? Nothing. You know what I mean? Hello. No, both are not possible as of now because people are resisting and one is. Oh, yeah. So the guy has a brilliant idea. He says people have answers. Let's take a full page ad in the paper and they take a full page ad in the paper. They give a Brazilian car as a prize and they say, dear Brazilians, suggest ways and means of increasing toilet paper consumption in this country. Whoever gives the best answer gets this car as a prize. Sixty-five thousand entries coming. Not even one is good. The best answer that came said the following. Dear sirs, in Brazil we have the drinking water supply system. Into that, if you put a little bit of a laxative, people instead of going <laughs> once, they will go twice, <laughs> and if they go twice, consumption will double. <laughs> but, but as all of you know, we marketing people are honest, straightforward people who never ever do such things, and therefore this was also done. Second suggestion. The BTP chief said, "Nothing has come out of this. Let me go and bring a brand manager. Brand manager is a thinker. Brand manager comes with a conceptual framework. He or she will come and plan something big. Brand manager creates innovation. Let's bring a brand manager." So they went to Harvard, MIT, Keller. Twenty-three-year-old, self-respecting young man will want to be called brand manager, toilet paper. Hmm? Imagine your name. On a visiting card, and at the bottom, brand manager, toilet paper. Nobody will even marry. You. Nobody will marry. You. But one young man from Kellogg actually came, and he joined. And this guy came in front of the grey-haired BTPM chief, and the grey-haired guy told him, "Young man, I want you to increase per capita consumption of toilet paper from one yard to 1.2 yards in three years." He said, "Yes, sir. That's my target." I'm feeling happy. He asks young man, "What do you want to do?" Young man looks at him and says, "Sir, at my institute, I've been taught every step you take, every breath you take, market research your way." Market research? The older guy says, "Why do you need market research?" And this is how most of us older people react to younger people who say they want market research because we don't believe enough in market research. He says, "Why do you want market research? We know the population of Brazil." We know an average Brazilian goes to the loo once a day in the morning, normally under normal circumstances, and he uses one yard of toilet paper per consumption occasion. Multiply 365 yards, <coughs> multiply that into the total population. You have data which says this is the consumption. Young man looks at him and says, "Sir, this is quantitative data. Quantitative data is not enough. I want qualitative data. Qualitative data? What do you want to know?" To know why do you want to know? I want to know why because I'm going to increase your consumption. So the older guy says, "Okay, let's do what you want." What do you want to study, young man? The young man says, "I want to study the toileting habits of Brazilians." <laughs> toileting habits of Brazilians. I've been a brand manager for Pepsi and I study the toothbrushing habits of Indians. But toileting habits more difficult. How do you study toileting habits of Brazilians? He says. Okay, older guy says, give me question here. We'll give it to them. Young man says, na na na. <laughs> you know why? If you ask people something, you ask someone, how long do you sit on the potty? <laughs> <laughs> That's the first question you would ask. What will you reply? Two minutes. <laughs> But that's not the truth. And if you ask deeper questions, you know what kind of rubbish will come up. So the Young man says, "Sir, at my institute, I've been taught never ask a human being a question. They never give you good answers. Go to them, and the best way of studying anything is the observational." <laughs> you dirty people don't think what you're thinking. You're thinking is right. Okay, don't get it. You dirty people. The guy says he did the next best thing. He went to a Mexican market research company, and he set up 62 cameras in 62 Brazilian houses. In the bathroom, <laughs> yeah, and the bathroom they connected the lip with the switch, light switch of the bathroom. When somebody went and switched on the light switch, brrr, the camera started recording the proceedings. <laughs> and when they switched off the light, the camera stopped. And this was rough and dirty market research because they had to load the tapes in the night, unload in the morning. This was 16 mm film. Those days, no uh, video. 
So up and down they took it to Mexico, they studied the data. So this was a nine month research exercise. The first three months data was junk. You know why? Some of us who are married in the first few rows will understand this better. When, when you are married to someone, when there is someone or something is in the house, when there is someone or something in the house, for more than three months at a stretch, you tend to think that that someone or something does not exist at all. This is precisely what happened to the cameras. First three months, they knew the camera was watching, and everything they were doing, they were doing in style, behind newspapers, in hiding, this, that. After three months, they forgot the camera was there, and they started doing things with us. Absolutely with comfort. The next three months data was rich in its pickings. You know why? Because you got real data and a one sheet market research diagnostic statement was brought out and given to the brand manager. And the sheet said the following. An average Brazilian sits on the potty for seven minutes. Seven minutes. Huh? You thought two minutes. <laughs> two. An average Brazilian who sits on the potty for seven minutes is bored on the potty. Three. An average Brazilian who sits on the potty for seven minutes and is bored on the potty, reads on the potty. And four, an average Brazilian at the end of that occasion uses one yard of toilet paper and I don't have to explain to you what he does with it. <laughs> Any other brand manager would not get excited by it. No brand manager would get excited. This young guy from Keller has a thinking mind, has a brand manager's mind. He says, warrior that he was, he says, go back to the tapes. Why? I want to see. What do you want to see? I want to see what they are reading. Reading? Why? No, God is in the details of market research. God is not in the macro one sheet statement that comes up. They go back and find out the people in Brazil are not reading Karl Marx. They are not reading Philip Kotler. They are not reading anything else like that. They are reading the daily newspaper. The guy gets even more excited and says, go back, go and see what they're reading in the daily newspaper. God is in the details. Drill, 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 drill. Don't just take stuff that your market research agency gives you straight up. And they go and find out that people are not reading serious news, editorial and all. At the end of Brazilian newspaper, there are six pages of comic strips. People are reading comics. And then they want to find out why they're reading comics. They go and ask them, why are you reading this light reading material, people say, light reading for the light occasion. <laughs> now the thing is, this guy gets a brilliant idea. He takes toilet paper rolls. He prints comic strips on toilet paper rolls. He prints comic strips on toilet paper rolls. And he lets it out. And they test again, and they find now that the Brazilian goes to the loo. Three months they watch. He goes, sits on the potty. He sits takes it out from the roller and he reads and he reads and he reads and he reads for seven minutes speed of reading. That much of paper is gone and at that time he takes that paper and you know what he does. <laughs> Guys, in the test households, the consumption went up by 373%. 373%. You wanted 20%. They rolled it out in Mexico, in Brazil, large number of Costa Rica, Colombia and it's a huge hit item today. And this is created by the thinking of a brand manager. One, by the innovative way of doing market research. Two, three, by the granular understanding of deeper and deeper and deeper understanding of what people do. So, if you do market research correctly, you will do well in life. That's the model I'm making. Anyway, uh, before I go away from this case, I must quickly tell you that whenever I talk to, I say this only when I talk to Indian audiences. Um, if this happened in India, things would be different because an average Indian would go and sit on the potty and he would take it out from the roller and read and read and read and then he'd re roll it and keep it for the next roller. You are very valuable on this team. Very valuable on this team. Okay, uh, but let's go to some more stuff. Important point, guys the consumer in emerging markets is much more complex than we thought him to be. Two types of people in Japan, seven types of people in Boston. Rochester, different number of people, three types of people. And in India, 236 types of people are there, more complex. The aviation user is very complex as well. In India, if you look at aviation, you look at any other thing, we are muddled and we are a very, very complex aviation space user. I want to give an aviation case 
but I will not because I don't have the time for it. But I'll talk about something else. The market at large, guys, is a volume-driven market in India. is equally a value-driven market. We are about large volumes, but we are also about value today. Okay, uh, but value to the consumer and not the market. Value to the consumer. It's not about market.